itself, you can actually do some quick edits and quick work from the desktop. So for example, if you select a few files, you right click, you can actually combine into one file, right? You can set, select center quality. And from here, you can shift up and shift down the sequence and you can go ahead to combine the files, right? And moving on to the main page. So this is actually Cofax Power PDF advanced version. So from here, you can see that uh, files can be opened in different tabs here. And you can see that the home tabs, edit, view, comment tab is, you know, the, the layout is pretty straightforward, allows you to pick up very fast. And from here, you can actually convert to X, Word, Excel, PowerPoint, very straightforward. And, and personally, I like to use this button called document assembly. So once you click on this button, you can start running the page evenly. You can actually drag the page, right? You can even select a few page. You can do rotation, right? You can rotate left. Right, and halfway editing, you can even drag a certain files in. Like for example, you can drag a file in insert, and the insert can be done right away. And we don't need it. You can right click, and you can go ahead to delete the page. And there you go. All right. And moving on to the next one, right? So this is Excel editing. So for for some finance department, um, you know, legal department, sometimes you will have you'll be looking at Excel uh PDF like this. So from here, you can actually do a quick edit. You can go to home, you can go to edit text. You can actually go ahead to edit the numbers before sending out to people. This allows you to quickly make an edit on the document. Or alternatively, if let's say you need to export this document to Excel. So straightforward, if you click on Excel, you convert the whole form to Excel. However, you can actually do partial edit, partial conversion, sorry. So you can actually go to advanced processing. You can click on export area. So you turn it to plus sign, you can actually edit, uh, select the area that you want to crop out. And you can save into Excel format, spreadsheet. And from here, probably I'll just rename the file. I click OK. So right away, I'll just crop and export the area that I want into Excel format. So there you go. So I just uh, redo the cells. And right away, all the exports are being exported into Excel, just the area that you wanted. So it saves a lot of time for you in terms of the editing. So just exit. So the next demo I want to show you is form filling. So, you know, scenario like this is, you know, for example, today, you know, if you uh, receive a form through email, somebody wants to, you to fill up. And I think the, the first first step is probably you have to print it out, uh, write it on pen and paper, rescan and send it back to a person. But however, you can actually do a quick update on this form or rather you can fill out a form very quickly using Power PDF. So you can go back to the home tab from here, you can click on the button called Type Writer, and you can actually go ahead to, uh, you know, write your name, uh, you know, write your necessary details, fill out mobile number, right? And usually forms like this, people want you to sign off, right? Uh, probably a simple signing. So let me just show you how do I add a signature into the Power PDF for the first time. Once you add it, it'll be permanent. Then you can just go ahead to sign on every time you just click place, okay? So for the first time, you just need to go to manage and I can click on the plus sign. Um, you know, I, I'm using a Surface Pro. If I were to do a signature here, I can just scribble and I save the signature into the desktop. And there you go, the signature will be safe. And you can select this signature and you can just go ahead to place your next signature and there you go, right? But however, you can also put in image file, right? Image file as a signature. So for me, I actually imported a signature uh, that I have. I took a picture and I go ahead to place it here and I can go ahead to sign off here as well, right? So this is form filling. And the next one is, you know, for example, if you have some complex form like this, like a medical form, so the quickest way to fill up is, you know, rather than using typewriter, it's going to take too much time. You can actually go to forms. You can click on this button called form typer. If you click on form typer, you can just go ahead to make this into an electronic form, e-form, right? And basically from here, when it's converted to into e-form, you can just go ahead to fill up the form. Go and you can fill up the necessary details here. So very quickly, you have fill up. You can just go ahead to fill up without having to go through, you know, print out and and write it on pen and paper, rescan again. All right. So um, <clears throat> my next demo I'm going to show you is even for scan copy like this, right? So I actually took this form from, of course, IRAS from the booth, and I took a picture of the form, 
And right away, I actually convert it into an e-form as well. So this scan document can also be converted into an e-form. So immediately, you can digitize some of the assets into an e-form format. Right. So from here, you can just fill up your name and IC details. Right. There you go. All right. So moving on to my next demo. So things like this, you know, um, this is a very typical example. So I have a customer here in Singapore. They wanted me to... Uh, make a quick edit on this uh, brochure because they are taking some uh, items from some other countries like Taiwan and want it to be edited in your Singapore, Singapore local context. So what I do is I can actually go to edit. I can go to edit object. I can point on certain details here and I can delete away the website. I can delete away the picture, right? So there you go. I can even place an additional picture in JPEG file by selecting this. All right. Okay. There you go. So once you're done, you click close. Right. There you go. And uh, yeah. So the next thing is uh, editing of the word file. So for example, things like this, um, you know, you can do a quick redaction to the document. So basically this feature is commonly used by law firm, legal, and all that. So from here, you can actually go to mark redaction. You can mark out certain areas that you don't need, right? And you can apply redaction, click OK, and there you go. You can do a redaction right away. Um, and if let's say you want to do uh, a quick edit for the whole document, redaction for the whole document, you can even do search and redact. So for example, I can do match the whole word things, the words like the, you can do a search and redact. And you can go ahead to select all and mark selection for redaction. And you can apply redaction and you click OK. So right away you can redact the whole document. Okay, remove. Right? There you go. All right. And at the same time, you know, before you send out certain contracts, documents, something you want to protect the document and you do not want the person to make any edits or any changes, you can actually go ahead to set a password to the document, right? Go to manage security, um, set up security, and you can actually set a password here. And you can dictate to say that this PDF, no printing, no editing, right? You click OK. You can set a password again and you can click OK. And right away, you can save the page as a different name on the desktop. Okay, once it's saved, you can see that there's a bracket here that goes uh, as a secure tab here. So I exit the document and I go back and open the file again. And immediately this file is no longer editable because even if we with a PDF editor right here, or if you send it to somebody using Adobe Acrobat, the editing can no longer be used. So you can you cannot do any rotation. If I were to export to Word, I click OK, it will ask for password as well. And even for file here, if you want to go to print, uh, it, the printing is disabled too. All right. So, okay. So on my last demo here, I'm going to show you is, for example, document like this, right? This is a very legacy scan document. So it's very old, slanted, blurry, right? So I can actually export this into a Word file and repurpose the whole document. So I can do export. I can click settings. I can remove away certain details like no rule line, no hyperlink, no text and card. I just need to keep the header and footer. And if I click OK, so I just click OK. So um, Cofax has one of the leading OCR solution in market. So once you do an export here, our OCR will run through the whole document and make the whole document become recognizable and export into a Word file. Okay, so there you go. So you can see that the whole document is exported. Then you can repurpose this document right now.